Hello again. In today's video we are going to use the system browser in Revit to better understand the mechanical systems as well as troubleshoot our supply system. So first thing we want to do is open up our system browser that is going to be in the view tab in the far right over here user interface and turn on your system browser just check that. You see right now we, we pretty much have only modeled mechanical um, return error and supply so that's the only thing we're going to see uh, as we populate mechanical and piping they will uh, the systems will show up in here as well next we want to click on the column settings icon which is the uh, the wrench on the far right hand side in the top here and I want to expand general I want to uncheck space names because we didn't really name our space any anything particular uncheck this now we want to create a new floor plan for we're going to do both the level 1 and level 2 mechanical. We'll just start off with the level 1 first. So I'm going to right click on my floor plan on my project browser. <clears throat> I'm going to duplicate and just duplicate the view with this top top option here. So here you see you get a nice clean view. No annotations, no, uh, no anything extra. Uh, and let's rename this. So this will be 1 mech Analyze Airflow. Next we'll go to the Analyze tab. So Analyze, we're going to use the Duct Legend right here. I'm going to click on that and it's going to give me a essentially a, a color legend. So you just want to place this anywhere on your drawing. I'm going to place it here to the left. It's going to ask me what kind of color scheme that I want. Uh, we're going to go with Flow today. So I'm going to click on that, say OK. See by default I come up with a uh, 500 and a 1000 CFM. Don't worry if yours is different, we'll, we'll fix them here uh, later. Okay, let's do the same thing for the level 2. So I'm going to right click, duplicate view, or analyze airflow for the second floor. So rename. Analyze airflow for a level two. Let's do the same thing with the duck legend. So here, same uh, same thing with the flow. Say OK. Let's go over to our system browser. We want to expand the supply air. So you should have three different. Uh, systems by default have the one coming from the air handler on the roof and then each of these VAVs is also creating a different system because they are considered supply. Alright so let me expand all these you have the air handler so this is on the roof and you have your uh, terminal unit single duct VAV uh, first and second floor here one of the good things about using the system browser is that you don't have to navigate to the floor that the unit is on to uh, to make changes to its properties. You can click on the terminal unit right here. You see this is uh, this is on level one. You see it, it highlights here, so it lights up while you selected it. You click on the one that's on level two as well, and you can go over here and you can change its properties. From here we're going to change our terminal unit uh, airflow. So I'm going to click on the terminal unit in air system 2 and we want to set the actual supply air down here to 800 for each of these VAVs. So 800 for the level 1 VAV and then level 2 800 as well. Expand these a little more. We also want to make sure your supply diffusers are set to 400 over here in the flow rate in the properties. Now you see that my mechanical air supply, it's tallying up all of the CFM uh, being called for in the system. So you can't, you can't change the CFM right here by default. Uh, it's a summation of everything in its system. Next we're going to add the mechanical supply air 2 and 3 to the supply air 
one system since everything is being supplied by the uh, Aon air handler up here. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in the uh, level or on the floor plan of the uh, system that we're, that we're going to add. So first let's do the air system 2 which is on the first floor here. So I click on the mechanical supply air system and then you click on the, uh, the select equipment button here on the modified duct system tab. And then I click on my unit, my VAV. Mechanical air supply 2 is gone and the terminal unit is now on my mechanical air supply 1. So I'm going to go to my second floor and do the same thing for the supply air 3. So once again you click on your system here, so supply air 3. You say select equipment and then you select your VAV on the second floor. So now you see it moved the um, both of my VAVs onto my <clears throat> mechanical air system supply air one. Now everything should tally up properly. So next is going through and um, changing the uh, CFM for these Titus units here. Uh, so you can select multiple at once with the shift and then the control key as well. And just over here, the primary airflow, we want to set those to 1200. 1200. See, now you have 1200 here on everything. And then the uh, mechanical air supply one tallies up to 18,400 correctly. Uh, but you notice your air handling unit here is still set at zero CFM. So this will tally correctly once we get all of our ducts closed off, um, all of our open ducting. Um, so we want to do uh, a couple things. Uh, first, before we start actually closing the ducts and running the duct analyzer, uh, we want to edit our families here uh, for both the Titus unit as well as the VAV box here. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my Titus unit. I'm going to click on the unit and say Edit Family. So what we want to do is we're going to connect our inlet and our outlet here. So I'm going to click on my inlet. And you see this button up here, Link Connection. So I can click on this. Now I'm going to click on my output here, which is the, the round duct on this side. So I click on that. Now if I select one of my, either my inlet or my outlet, you see a line going between, and this, this indicates that, that these are link, that, that this will basically flow. So I'm going to load and close. Do you want to save changes? No. Uh, just say overwrite with existing the existing version. There. All right, let's do the same thing for the VAV. Click. Highlight one of our inlets. Say link connector. So that one looks good. So load and close. No. Next, we will use the uh, analyze tab. We're going to do the show disconnects. So we click on the show disconnects button. Uh, you get a couple different options here. We're just going to use the duct work. We're just going on, um, just going for the duct disconnects. So say OK. All right, so we don't need to worry about um, any of these disconnects on the uh, the mechanical units here. Uh, mainly, we're worried about the the open ducting. So I can right click on this and cap open end. So you see the uh, exclamation point goes away. Everything for this side over here. Right click, cap open end. So the exclamation point goes away. Um, you noticed uh, that the return air transfers here, these are going to be open, that's fine, ignore those. Uh, the return air um, duct here, that's going to be open, that's that's what you want because it's going to be sucking up air uh, through this, you know, through, through this duct here into the return, back into the return air system. Uh, so let's do cap.
You can go into 3D here as well and use the 3D to, to make sure you have everything capped. Uh, open in there. That one's fine. This one's fine. So you see I just capped the last of my ducks, and if you noticed, as soon as I did that, my air handler here auto-populated. So now I'll go back into my first floor plan where we had our uh, CFMs, uh, CFM legend here. Now let's go ahead and put one on CFM legend on uh, this one as well. You may not have the same exact data points that I do. Uh, don't worry, that's just basically depending on where you put your, your ducks in relation to each other. Uh, so you see it changes color here. Whenever it hits this duck, basically this is saying that uh, this is flowing uh, you know, at 4400 CFM. And because you're losing some coming down this, this run here, uh, you get a little bit less flow here. You know, you'll lose some down here, down here. So, um, you know, so don't worry if your your points aren't the same. You should at least have the uh, the eighteen four hundred here um, on on one of the plans on your second floor plan. Your first floor plan may not get up to eighteen thousand four hundred. And once you're done with the um, capping of the ducks. And you have your uh, air handler up here reading 18,400. You're done with this portion of the project.